Here we move into the dining room where the feast is not food but films. Uh, something certainly to get my teeth into at some stage. <laughs> there is a hell of a lot here. Uh, quite a lot I have actually watched. But I need to find space to put them and shelve them and house them better. Just going up on the walls, we've got some more shelves here, which is a better place to store them. Nice and tidy out of the way, easily accessible. Anybody comes around and wants to watch a film, they can look up, they can find one, they can grab one, and we can put it on to play. And being a fan of these films, I'm not really too worried if we've seen it before, but if I can find one that I haven't watched before, <laughs> all the more the better. So there we are, some nice shelves there. Down here we've got some more laser discs. Just flagged up here. Yeah. And underneath we've got a small cabinet which houses about another 200 laser discs, I think. So there's a lot of laser discs there. Shame the format was so expensive and didn't do as well as DVD has done, but as long as we keep getting the films released uncut in the shiny format, it's good for everybody. Here we have uh, lots of the Japanese VHS movies. And we have some more. Over here, in another bookshelf, and we've got some Greek tapes here, another collection of UK sell-through tapes, and another shelf bookcase of sell-throughs as well. I prefer the bigger cases, the clamshells, as I think everybody will probably agree. They're just such more fun to have, really. They're collectible, nice size, just all round cool. In the bottom corner there we've got some more films from Greece, which the quality can vary, but there are some quite rare collectible tapes there to be had as well. Some Star Trek. Some more Star Trek. Kind of like Star Trek. <laughs> I'm wind with that when I can. Uh, these are pretty much by a guy called Trevor Horswell. Very good artist who certainly knows how to capture the imagery. So he's a very good guy to look out for. Okay, let's wander back through. Movie still playing. Not so much action. What we want there is a good old Bruno Mattei explosion. Get things going. As I say, that's by Wings Hauser, or Stars Wings Hauser. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Just pause to show a Bruno Mattei poster for Robo War. And uh, we we'll climb the stairs. What was my great man? God bless, I used to say. Climb the wooden hill. And here we are. Are they? Top of the stairs, another poster. This one's signed. It's Daredevil, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Garner. A lot of people hate it, but I think it's just good fun. Independence Day. And here we have some more, yeah, more Japanese VHS. Go through into the small bedroom. Got a box of 
DVDs, box of preset PAL UK VHS tapes. Go through into the guest bedroom. It's more on the floor. Oh, here we go. This is quite cool. They live. Original standee from about 20 years ago. Very cool. John Carpenter. And we have another stack of lots more DVDs from all around the place. This is where we get the crime films, spaghetti westerns, and the cannibal film there. That's on VHS. That's Ruggiero Diodata. There's some more VHS films here. And the cell three. I will do update videos which break down the films so you can have a better idea of what's what. And please do feel free to ask me about any of them. I'll be glad to show them. Have a chat. Um, I'd like to do a couple of shout outs if I could. One is to, well they're both actually two, two very cool Australian guys. Uh, one is called Last A Lot. That's Dom. He's a very cool guy. That's his Lucio Fulci and his horror films. The other is Simon from Explosive Action. A very cool guy. He likes a lot of the films that I like actually. Good old 80s action adventure films. And uh, they're both cool guys who put out some highly watchable YouTube videos. I'll put out um, links for them as well. So hopefully I can work out how to do that. And uh, on that I shall close for now, so thanks for watching. I think an appropriate place to finish is actually on this cool little baby, Bronx Warriors, Christopher Connolly, Fred Williamson, Vic Morrow, and one of my cool favourites, Mark Gregory, directed by Enzo G. Castellari. Okay, thanks for tuning in. See you again soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.